I'm Dan Ackman and we are at Apple's press event where they have announced a very anxiously awaited update to the MacBook Pro line of laptops. First it came to the MacBook Air earlier this year and then very recently to the iMac. Now the MacBook Pro, at least the version with the Retina display, has Intel's fourth generation Core i series processor, sometimes known by the codename Haswell. And that means they are now up to date along with uh, most of the other premium uh, laptops that we've seen in the second half of 2013. Now what these Intel chips give you is marginally better performance, better integrated graphics uh, than you had from previous generations, but more importantly, better battery life. And our benchmark tests with already released systems that have these new CPUs prove that. Uh, you do get much better battery life. In fact, the 13-inch MacBook Air ran for an insane 12 hours on our battery drain test. Uh, Apple says that the 13-inch version of the Retina MacBook Pro is going to run for nine hours, and the 15-inch version is going to run for eight hours. And of course, you get um, you know, largely better performance. You do get that super high-res screen. You get a bunch of the up other updates that we've seen come to both MacBooks and some other laptops this year, 802.11. AC. Uh, you've got the faster PCIe version of your SSD memory, so that's a little bit quicker. You've got Thunderbolt 2. In the 13-inch version of the MacBook Pro with Retina display, you've got an Intel Core i5 processor. You get 4 gigs of RAM and a 128 gig SSD. And in the 15-inch version, they bumped that up to a Core i7 and a 256 gig SSD, which they cheekily describe as a quarter terabyte of storage space. One very interesting thing, they did the same thing with these models that they did with the 13-inch MacBook Air. They actually cut the price. Uh, it's now 12 $12.99 for the 13-inch version and $19.99 uh, for the 15-inch version, and these guys are available immediately. I'm Dan Ackman, and that is the new MacBook Pro with Retina Display.